Ugutula. Ugutula. This is for my brothers, the divine black men. Number four. Two. How often do we wonder about our purpose on this earth, on this reality? And I'm not talking individualized purposes based on our bloodlines, but the actual reason we came to be in this realm, in this reality. We all know the first person to walk this world was a divine black woman, who, mind you, could reproduce on her own, who not only populated the realm but also birthed great civilizations. So when I think about that, I can't help but wonder, as a black man, what is my role in the greater scheme of things? I say this because over 90% of black men in this reality, a percentage I myself was once a part of, thinks and lives as if this greater purpose for us is to reproduce. A high number of black men are only focused on having experiences whose climax is having a so-called wife, a family, which when looked at deeper means our ambitions and purposes have become sex-based, have become sex itself. A brother would say he wants to have a great so-called business, but ultimately he wants that business to secure him a peculiar type of woman, peculiar type of family, peculiar type of sex, which would be called a peculiar type of success. The same can be said of a black man with occupational or professional ambitions. And no, I'm not saying that is the case with all black men, but it is so within a high percentage of us. Is that really why a black man exists? Just to be born, grow big enough to stick our things inside a woman, open a reproduction factory we call a family, and call that a purposeful life. That can't be it. Yes, we talk about divine masculinity, but as discussed earlier, great civilizations existed and thrived before without this physical strength of ours which we are so obsessed about. Children walked this realm before our birth and were protected. Better yet, the world was a safe place then. That's a great place to be for the young. I am not just curious about this, but also very concerned. Because if we do not find our true purposes as black men, the real reason the creator of the universe created us, through the black woman to be part of this beauty we call life, I fear there will come a moment in space and time that our existence will be severed. And I for one still want to thrive for and explore more by being true to my true purpose, not as Kuru Lego but it's a divine black man. So yeah. What is our true purpose, my brothers? I am very confident we will succeed in liberating the divinity within black women. Protect our children and help usher in a new world. But if we do not find this true purpose of ours, what else will we be then but dogs in heat for the rest of eternity? Tula.
Masculine attracts feminine and feminine attracts masculine. What does the world think is masculine energy? It's the highly successful, A-type, highly driven, Ferrari, Rolex wearing masculine. I hate to break it to you guys, but that is the most scared man on the planet. The man who is in his divine masculine doesn't need the Ferrari, doesn't need absolutely anything. So what is happening is the wounded woman is attracting the wounded man. The only the healed woman can attract the healed man. Only the divine feminine can attract the divine masculine.